So now in this particular video, we will be talking about the force between two parallel currents. That is, what will happen if we at a distance d keep two conductors, say A and B, and both of them have currents I, A and I, B flowing inside them. Now, if we look at the step-by-step -step process, we will find that according to bio sebert law, there exists a magnetic field due to a conductor carrying a current. So if a conductor is carrying a current, so it will have a magnetic field. It will have a magnetic field. Magnetic field. That is the first step that you should know. Now, secondly, you also know from your Lorentz force, Lorentz law, that under an external magnetic field, under an external magnetic field, a current carrying conductor will experience a force. So, if you look over here, say suppose if you look at this particular point, this is a current carrying conductor. So, because of this, there will be a magnetic field that will be generated. Now, this, there is a magnetic field. Now, for this particular conductor, this magnetic field is an external magnetic field and this is present in the external magnetic field. So this current carrying conductor is present in the external magnetic field and therefore we can say that it will experience a force. So by combining this two law, we know that each of these two current carrying conductor will experience a force because of each other. So now let's understand how this particular force work. Now, we know from Ampere's circuital law, this is Ampere's circuital, circuital law, what do we know? Let's change the color. That B of A, magnetic field because of A is equal to the total current flowing inside of A into mu naught times divided by twice pi d. Now we are drawing a circular loop. We are drawing a circular loop that is of radius d. This is the radius d. So what was the law? It was b into dl is equal to mu naught i. So this was our whole ampere circular law. So what was dl? If I take a circle if i take a circle with radius d then it is b into twice pi d equals to mu naught i therefore the external magnetic field at this particular point is b equals to mu naught i upon twice pi d which is same as this now if you apply the lorentz force now if i apply the lorentz force let's see what happens i'll take this color f f of b f of ba we have named this f of ba so now f of ba tells us about the force on b tells us about this force on the line segment in b because of a or due to a this is due to a so we have to calculate the magnetic field because of a what is the magnetic field because of a and then we will look at the force that is experienced over here. So over here what we have seen is BA. We have seen magnetic field that is created because of this particular conductor. This conductor. BA is the magnetic field generated because of this. So by Lorentz force, what we know Lorentz law that this is a current carrying conductor. And this is its magnetic field. So what is the force experienced by B because of A or due to A? So this is given by the total current in here that is IB into L into BA. That is the length, length vector into the magnetic field. That is the external magnetic field BA. Which is given as mu naught BA is what? Mu naught IA mu naught i a into i b upon twice pi d 
and this is into L. This is your L. So this is my L. So this is the magnetic force that this particular conductor is experiencing because of the external magnetic field of BA and the current carrying conductor IB in the whole length L. Now, if you look at the opposite side, if you look at the opposite side, what we will see is F of BA is equal to minus F of AB, that we know. So, if you look F of BA, this is given by, at a particular point, mu naught IA IB, this is mu naught, divided by twice pi D. If you look at the unit length instead of l if you look at the unit length you are looking at the force per unit length this particular quantity is if i name this it is force per unit length so this is how we can understand similarly you can take out the magnetic field because of ba and the force over here now, if we look over here, these two are exactly the opposite, exactly the opposite. So, in a way, we can say that they are equal in magnitude but opposite in size, which is given by this. So, this is a force between two parallel current, currents and by using the two-step law, that is the magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor by Biot-Severt law and the Lorentz law, we can derive this particular expression.